been, the responses to this have been mm -hmm. twofold. One has been always been, this is the gamma one, it's, it's great, the times now, all that. Uh, the other has been, uh, better you than me. That's been an interesting response to folks. It's like, oh, well, that's not something I would ever do. And the other one's, well, why would you bother doing that with a dying institution? I mean, those have been the kind of the, the framework. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I've been in ministry now, come on, almost 13 years. And I think <clears throat> I'm feeling an urge that, that, we've, that I've been part of circles that have not necessarily been <coughs> complaining about the church, but feeling the yearning the church needs to change and it's there's something and, and we've kind of put ourselves on the sideline or have been part of the system and are doing making change the best way we know kind of subversively. But we're really not that anymore, that there's enough there are enough people and there's enough movement where we could actually change the church. I mean mm -hmm. I think that there's there seems to be, okay, we've been talking about this, we've been pointing out all these things that need to change in the way we do church and the way we are church, that at what point do we kind of say, okay, let's all step into the public and start to take part in what the change is going to be. And I think one of the ways a moderator office can be part of that is to um, create the kind of space where those interactions can happen. Uh, and not just go around and listen to people and what they have to say about the church, but really, all right, so you, we have this vision how are you and you and you could be part of that? What are we going to, how, how is this going to happen? Because uh, I think one of the things people have asked me already is how are you going to do this? You know, how are you going mm -hmm. to solve this problem or what are you going to do? And that's not the role of the moderator, I, I think. That, mm -hmm. that shouldn't be the role of the moderator. So I think there have been these moments where I'm like, gosh, something's going to happen. And, and there are some things that make sense about where I am that says maybe this is the time been in ministry long enough that I can say I've lived through some mm -hmm. things, still perceived as young, mm -hmm. so there is a connection there. Um, and I love the church, I mean, I think I appreciate all the things that have happened, I've been nurtured by the church and the denomination, and I don't just want to reject all that. And I think there's this impression that people who want to change the church want to reject everything that's come before us. And that's, I think what we've all heard, that's not true. Um, but so any any kind of talk of change, people would just assume, well, you just want to throw everything out. Well, I don't think that's true. And so uh, hopefully create some space where we can say, no, we want to acknowledge that this past and the heritage and tradition is all nurtured us to a certain place, but that doesn't mean that we worship that or are tied to it, but it, it unleashes something new, and so we need to kind of embrace where that heads, where that's going to take us. And we may not even know where that is, but at least we're being intentional about it. So that's kind of and the excitement about that is we're hearing response to the possibilities has been really good. And so it's only a firm, which I know is a crazy idea to be moderator for two years. I mean, but it has said said to me, this is maybe where God's calling us. Mm -hmm.